With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In this question, we are given that there is a satellite of mass m in a circular orbit of radius r about the center of the earth. A meteorite of same mass falling towards the earth collides with the satellite completely inastically. The speeds of the satellite and the meteorite are same just before the collision. The subsequent then we have to find the subsequent motion of the combined body will be so firstly our satellite is moving in the circular orbit around the earth then its velocity v naught equals to root under g m upon r so this is its velocity and it is also the velocity of the meteorite so we draw the motion just before the collision this is orbit this is earth this is the satellite moving with v naught speed and this is the meteorite falling with v naught speed towards the satellite and after collision they have the velocity in this direction let's take us take it as v and their mass will be 2m so we apply momentum conservation then uh, m v naught i cap plus m v naught minus j cap equals to 2m v vector so m cancels here then v naught i cap minus v naught j cap is equals to 2 v vector then 2 v vector is equals to if we find the mod of it so v naught square plus v naught square then 2 v vector is equals to root 2 v naught then v is equals to v naught by root 2 it is equals to about 0.7 v naught so v is less than v naught the v naught the orbiting speed of the satellite to the earth so our v is less than v naught than the satellite then the subsequent motion of the combined body will move in elliptical path so which option is correct it will move in a electrical orbit thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today